Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, 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 hey. Chim on in the room. Chim on in the room. Welcome, everybody who's joining us today. Uh huh, uh huh. What's good? What's good? Welcome aboard. Let us know where you're checking in at. Let us know where you're repping. We're part of the country. Share our video today. I want you to get in on today's conversation. Reality Hour, real people, real life situation jumping off. We're getting Facebook. What's up? Uh, thank you, man. You, Jackie, what's up? Is it up? Y'all good over there? Yeah, you're up. Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome to the show. Good afternoon, good morning, whatever time it is. We up in here, Kenya. You have today's letter. It's gonna be a good one. I can, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell by the way y'all was over there looking. And welcome to the show. And to the ZAK family, Sherry Dennis is here. What up, Sherry? Hey, hey. What's going on? How you feeling? I am feeling great. Y'all good? Um, totally good. Totally good. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Welcome to the uh, station. Thank you. And uh, we about to do some things here. So, you, you know, we're going to help out somebody here. Okay. So we just going to give. A little bit of advice. There you go. Okay. There you go. Now, we don't, got it. don't mean that we are experts. We just telling you what we think. We like your, we, we like your, we your real brothers and sisters here. We're going to tell you the <laughs> truth, whether you like it or not. Right. All right. Feel free to chime in at 888-409-0931. Of course, we're going to read some of your comments. Um, 888-409-0931. That is the number to read, uh, to call, and you can uh, chime in as well. Let's dive into it. All right. Dear Sam, my fiancé passed away unexpectedly. Me and his family were always cool up until he passed. I had mm. quit my job and uprooted to live with him until we got married. That was his idea. His family has pretty much excluded me in all the funeral planning until I got a phone call from his insurance agent saying that I was the beneficiary. His family was planning a big elaborate funeral uh, when I know he would have wanted a small funeral and to be cremated. Plus, I know he would want me to be okay and be able to move back home if I choose. So should I let his family have their way and pay? Or should I do what I think he would want? He would have wanted. Damn. That's why you gotta have a will. <clears throat> oh, that's does a tough it, one. Does it matter that he made her the beneficiary, which means that in some way that he trusted her Absolutely. to make his, you know? But so let me get this right. So the family didn't know that yet. They know it now. They know now. Okay, but they was planning. They was going to pay for everything and do and take care of him, right? Take, you know, bury him properly and all that stuff, right? Does it say? They probably didn't even know who the beneficiary was. They probably just assumed that right. the that, check was coming to them. So th is that what she's saying, though? Well, what she said was she got, a, she got a call from his insurance agent saying that she was the beneficiary. So before that, they had left her out of all the planning, all the yeah. funeral planning, yeah. until, you know, voila. She, so what she, she said was, check. "Hold on, he left me, he left me the money bag." Right. So therefore, I, I, I maybe and he I thought should... enough of me to yeah. make me the beneficiary. So, so y'all need to hear me because he said that he didn't want all this. Right. Whew. Damn. Now, how do you tell his mama that? Mama, Ooh. look, because they acting funny now, right? Yeah, they. I mean, kind they of left him. Out. They left her out of all of the planning. Well, this is a tough one because you know I know it ain't. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. All right. Well, it is now because <laughs> they want that check. Right. You you yeah. think they want the check? Yeah, she was saying should she pay for it, or should she use the money? You know, so she could be cool. She said that she felt that he left her the money. So she can move home because she uprooted her life to go well, move with him. Typically, what happens with this is that 
And I wonder how much money it is because the funeral product costs about maybe fifteen grand, right? Woo. So, and so this is why she's bringing up the whole fact about we got one minute before we go and uh, uh, before we go back on live on the air. So, so I wonder how much it is because if let's say it's fifty thousand, right? Get him the bread to give him his his proper burial and then you go run off with the rest and live in your but if it's only 20 grand 15 grand then what do you do she should give them all the money i mean you want to make sure he could tell us look you know i'm gonna tell you what he told me he told me he wanted to be cremated they don't want to hear that yeah they don't want to hear that they're like you don't you probably didn't even know him long enough to make that decision you want to come up in here like that but then, the, but then the argument still remains that he made her the beneficiary. So, but for, that's of life insurance. Especially if your if your mom is still alive, wouldn't you think that you would let your mom know, like, okay, my yeah. wife is the benefit. You know what I mean? Like, it's. But this is his fiance. Tough one, because they not married yet. But the money still goes to her because he left her the bag. Here we go. Wow. Z A K the Sam Soup Show. Love Theory. Kirk Franklin. What's going on, fam? <laughs> Today's reality. I was off the chain. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to the station. Give it up. Cherry Dennis is here. What's up? Hey, hey. What's going on? How you feel? I feel blessed and great. Blessed and great. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad Thank you're you. on the team here. Thank you. What's good? What's good? And, and, and we we just throwing you in right now because you got to help us <laughs> out with in, this put lady. Me in. Put we got to, man, we need y'all. This is a tough one. Okay. Guys, this is a tough one here. I need, we need all y'all. We need, they need your help on this. Let's read that letter, Kenya. What you got? All right. Dear Sam, my fiance passed away unexpectedly. Mm. Me and his family were always real cool up until he passed. I had quit my job and uprooted my life to live with him until we got married. That was his idea. His family has pretty much excluded me in all the funeral planning until I got a phone call from his insurance agent saying that I was the beneficiary. His family was planning a, this big elaborate funeral when I know he would have wanted a small funeral and to be cremated. Plus, I know he would want me to be okay and be able to move back home if I choose. Should I let his family have their way and pay? Or should I do what I think he would have wanted? Okay, so she's saying, should I give them the bag and let them just do what they want to with it? Right. So it sounds like to me that that this insurance policy, as I think about it more, it's it's really only enough to bury him. Must be. Because, because you know, you got the funeral type of uh, burial insurance, and then you have life insurance. Mm-hmm. So I need to know, is this, if it's, if it's to bury him, then you should make sure that he gets his, you know, make sure that, you know, he follows wishes. But uh, you, you, you're, not, you're, not the, you're not the wife. I know he left it there, but if it's just that, then it's kind of tough. That's his... Because a mama won't, a mama, number one, a mama's going through because she has to bury her child. Mother, parents don't never want to bury their kids. Right. right. Okay. So the mama will want to have a last say mm-hmm. in how and what she does for her baby. You not the, you not the wife. Now, if this life insurance, if it's a life insurance policy, and let's say it's a hundred grand, I would still, and this is just me, say, let me holler at the mom and say, hey, mom. You know, this is what, you know, he left me, and I wanted to make sure he's done properly, but he did say he didn't want no big funeral ever. So are you basing your answer on the amount that was left? Well, partially, because it could be two type, it could be two different right. types of policies. So you're saying if, if it's a larger amount, then she can still facilitate giving him the proper burial and home-going service, and then he, she can still run off with a run, little bit of the bag. I mean, I mean she's no, a No, I, I just want to be clear. Yeah, I he left, he left, uh, uh, he, he didn't clear. leave it. I don't know, maybe he, maybe him and his mama <laughs> wasn't like that. But what if he really did feel like, okay, I made this girl uproot her whole life. Mm-hmm. Let me just make sure that she's, that she's cool. Mm-hmm. So what if it was just for her to be cool? Okay, but if it's what type of policy is it? Is it a hundred grand, or is it a fifteen people, this is type why, of This grand? is why when you if you it, when you how young are they? I don't know. Because I mean, I guess you should start having conversations as well Man. about like 
you know, who's going to do what in the event of, you know. Yeah. You yeah, got to write it down. Yeah. You do. man, if because, you don't write it down, you got a problem. Because, you know, like, you know, a lot of times people be, people die unexpectedly and now yeah. we're having fish fries and. Yeah. And all kinds of In this of case, stuff right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah nobody, no, no one's ever speaking about how to handle. You know, the unexpected. So what do you guys think? We want to hear from you right now. Five seven eight zero nine three one. How should she handle this? Should she like, look, let mama go ahead and, and square it away? Or should she be like, look, this is how it's going down. He left me the bag, and this is what we going to do because this is what he told me and what he wanted. The Sam Silk Show. That's a tough one here, y'all. Tough one, tough one. All right, so so uh, whew, let's touch it. Cause as a as a as a parent, I wouldn't want the girlfriend or the boyfriend if they're not married. But your child made that decision, though. So what? <laughs> so you're not gonna respect your child's wishes if they created a life insurance policy. Listen. You hear what I tell you? It sounds good now, but especially if you don't really care for him or her. I don't care. My baby gone now, so she can't. he can't be mad at me on the decision I'm going to make. <laughs> <laughs> but, then that's, but then that's mom or uh-huh. dad or whoever being just as irrational well, as, you're damn as, right. as, as the fiancé could be in this situation. Yeah. Yeah. She could, she could right. totally be like, well, listen, we had a life together, and... You know, he told me he, he didn't he, like he you. He told me his wishes, and he left the bag to me. Uh-huh. Right. So I'm going to do what he requested of me, and then I'm going to go back to where I came from. And I wonder, in that case, guys, I wonder, I wonder legally, like, like what planning, planning the, a funeral right. is different. Like, if this is just a life insurance policy, then she goes with the money. Mm-hmm. But th- we're talking about planning the services. Mm-hmm. Who has that right? When if the mama is still living, you're you're not the you're not the wife. Right. Who has who has to say on how the service go? Your does mama. does the per does the person who got left the I mean if you you just said legally yeah does legally. the person who got left the money is that the person I think that if, is able to make the decisions because the yeah. money was left to that person if it's the funeral policy. But, I mean, if I the funeral policy do. was left to, the, to yeah, that the person. Yeah, the funeral policy, I believe that whoever left the, the funeral policy to. So if it's her, then then she should make call the shots because that's a funeral policy. Because it's sounding like she got left the bag. The and, bi- now she, and now she's left to make the decision of whether to be gracious yeah. and respect the family and let them have whatever, you know, monies they need to take care of the funeral services. Doesn't sound like... It doesn't sound it like there's sound a like discrepancy. The big bag. It, it doesn't, sound but like it doesn't big sound bag. like there's a discrepancy about who the money was left to. It's about is she now obligated to, you know, respect True. and consider the family members. But they were all. What makes me think that they were already planning the funeral before they found out that she had the bag. Right. So they were, they was already about to do what they about to do. Right. So what bag were they using? Well, maybe they thought. Did no, it? I know Ray Ray said that he had an insurance policy, so it must have my name on it. If it's the mama, you well, know what I'm saying? She might have thought that it, that he left it to her. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What you got? Let's read some of these comments, y'all. What we got? All right. Steve said, "My advice is to go to passport <laughs> passportnvllc.com and book a trip somewhere far away, because if you hold on to that money, his family members will make you your beneficiaries, recipients of your oh, life Steve, insurance Steve, policy Steve, <laughs> very soon." Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Reginald said that. Uh, so let the family do family, but if you're close to that to that family, talk with his mom about it. Policy should not be the issue. Well, clearly she's not as close as she thought she was because they excluded her from the get go, from the jump. Right. And then she was so, like, oh. so, there's, so there's already some discord. Oh, exactly. exactly. Oh, right. because then she got the call. Like, oh, so y'all like, uh, did you see the, I just got this card for the game. Right. So here's my card. Mm-hmm. He left it mm-hmm. to me. My name is 
you, you know, I'm sorry, Mama, your name is not on here. Right. Ooh. But, you know, mine is right because there. Because it seems like they had already discredited her from the beginning. They counted yeah. her out. They didn't yeah. care. So now she has to turn around and be nice? <clears throat> yeah, she has to be nice. Because because she's still being nice to his mama. That's what some people might do. But some I people are like, yeah. yeah. I would probably let the mama, re- if, this was, if this were me, I would probably say, you know what? You know, she left me the bag. But, uh, you know, I know I'm not a husband, but, uh, you know, let me know what y'all need yeah, so we can square that up. Or she could but, be fair. Yeah. She could be fair and say, hey, I got the check for X amount. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we made the decision to move here and until we got married and yeah. all of that. So I'm going to keep uh, X amount of dollars just so I can, you Pay know, get back rent. on my feet. Pay and my I'm, rent. I'm just going to yeah. give y'all the rest. The and, rest. You, and you can allot yeah. it how y'all, you want y'all to. Y'all have the 7500 and I keep 7500 Is yeah. that fair? Is Woo! that fair? Man. We got some good hearts up in the studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We nice today. We, we nice got some today. good hearts. I'm proud you know. of y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you take that whole bag? I Especially mean, if they I, was treating, I, they I was would, treating, I, treating I ideally, funny. I would hope in my situation mm-hmm. that I would have the type of rapport with the family that we wouldn't have to go through this. Mm-hmm. She probably thought I would, they had. She I thought, would have been, she I thought they been did. In, well, well, see, that, and see I, w- I wouldn't want to have to have thought. I would like to know, <laughs> to know. <laughs> that to know, I have know, the type of rapport with his family yeah. that from the beginning I would have been included in whatever. Or at least that I, I would hope that I was liked well enough that they would even come to me and mm-hmm. say, how are we going to move forward with these funeral arrangements so that there's not even any of this, you know, yeah. um, chaos to begin with. Tracy said the family can plan the funeral and pay and pay for it. If the policy is 25 k give them half on a certain amount to help with the services and move Mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Kind of what you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, I think that's fair. Yeah. Sharita said, I need to know if there's another insurance policy that maybe the family also has a policy on it. That's what it could because like you mentioned earlier, they they had already moved on started planning. So So they had the money. Whose bag was that coming from? Right. So so while you are so quick to come over and say, well look, you might just want to hold your bag. Mm. And be like, okay. Right, it might have been another because, one. Because the funeral home or whoever has that policy is not going to contact anyone else. But her. But her. So they don't even have to know you got it. Hmm. Well, sounds like ah, they know now. Ah. You called the radio station and told us. <laughs> hmm. Sam Silk Show, what up? I'm thinking the situation, um, she just be a little bit leaner because, um, um, when a when a mother loses a child, it's a big thing, and she's going through something right now. If it was me, I would let the mom use the situation. I would just beg her just a little bit, and I know how she feels because, like she said, it's her boyfriend, but it's the mom. If she was to put a step in their shoes, then she'll feel what the mom is feeling. So I think she just eats up a little bit. We got somebody dead right now, and she's mourning over her child. I would just beg up, you know, like ease up just a little bit, let the mom do it because it's just the mother's going through so much right now, but she got to bury her child. And if it was her in a situation, she can feel yeah. it. Even if it was her husband, if it was her husband, she still should ease up just a bit because that is her child. I would just ease up and let the person go on and rest in peace and let the mother do, that, do the thing. And that way, when it's all said and done, over everybody can get it now. All right, thanks a lot for the call. Sam Silk Show, hello. I, I don't play football. Hi, how are you? All right, what, what, what do you have to say about it? What's your thoughts? Okay, this is what I heard. This lady moved here, and she thought she was cool with the family. Yeah. And then when the man passed away, they started dog walking. And then, whoop, there it is. The policy was in her name. <laughs> so now they want her to start spending money, and she feels like, she feels like she knows he would want her to be able to take this money and go back to where she came from amongst people that probably cared about her. And that's just what I would do. They started dog walking her, and I would you dog sound, walk You sound like you've been dog walked a few times. Right. Hey, we, we all have. Family didn't we all have before. <laughs> we all have before, yeah. you know. But uh, So, I look, so, was, so, so should she take the whole bag and just move on, or should she get him some of it? I would 
if that was dog walking that woman, I wouldn't give them nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't give them nothing. Y'all go ahead on and have the big elaborate funeral y'all wanted to have, but y'all pay for it. See you. Adios, amigo. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Silk Show. Hello. Yo. All right, lad, what, more comments before we bounce. All right. Jackie said, if the fiancé made the decision to make her beneficiary, I'm sure they had discussions. The family was being rude to her before they found out she was holding the bag. Mm -hmm. She should give him a decent funeral and keep it moving. Yeah. Because he might have actually known that his family didn't really care for her. True. I mean, this happens true. all the time. That's more often than not. Like, people don't always like your partner. That's you know true. what I mean? And, it, and he might just have kept the peace because that's his partner. And right. that's his family, you know yeah. what I mean? But he might have already known, you know, once if, if I go, yeah, they ain't really checking for her anyway. I remember the time when my brother and them would tell you what they did to me. Yeah. So hell no, I ain't giving Reggie and them no damn money. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. I, again, he thought enough of her. Yeah, but and, and she didn't know that, that she was on the policy. Mm -hmm. She didn't. didn't even know. She found out once they called. Mm -hmm. Well, she was shocked, like, oh, damn. This, this how y'all going to do me? I thought we was all cool. And right. that's why I say maybe he already knew that right. the family didn't care for her. Yeah. Because so, yeah. she she might have thought, you know, he was the liaison between the family and mm -hmm. his girl, and he might have just kept the peace, but he might have been totally aware that mama and cousin and brother, they really don't check for you, you know? And, and, he, and like you mentioned earlier, it could be that they had their own policy. Maybe so. And then he still just got one to make for sure her. she was cool. There might be another one. Right. Go look for that other policy, girl. <laughs> Only they might not tell you about it. <laughs> Somebody needs to talk. Yeah, yeah, especially if her name, but all the insurance company has to contact everybody's name who's on there. And you got to split it up into the names, how, how, how you want to divide it. Mm. Yeah, I'd be finding out about that other policy first. Ah! Hey, share this video with your uh, with your family and friends. We do it again tomorrow. Thank y'all for rocking out with us. More coming up the Sam Simpson Show. Holla. Ain't nobody high.